Hey, what's up friends? For today's video, I'm gonna be doing an office tour of my creative space. Now, I just got out of the gym. I don't necessarily know if I should be drinking a beer, but I figure, hey, we're creating a YouTube video. Why the hell not? Let's go ahead and freaking pour that thing, take a sip, and let's get started right with the tour. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Now, as far as in today's world, uh, you know, it just really comes down to preference in whatever operating system that you like. If you're already into the Apple ecosystem with the MacBook, the iPhone, and iPad, then a Mac or MacBook might make more sense to you. But I would rather put all of my money on a really well-built PC that I will get more power out of. So this right here is my custom-built desktop PC. It's got an RTX 2070 Founders Edition. There's just so many specs when it comes to like a computer. If you're curious about my build, I'll just go ahead and link it down below in the description if you're interested. But as far as how my PC performs, I really do not have any problems when it comes to photo editing. Now, as far as laptop goes, I recently did purchase as well a Razer Blade 15 with the RTX 3070. This laptop is incredible. I've already tested it with Premiere Pro. I've tested it on Lightroom, Photoshop. And when I tell you that this is a beast, it is a beast. And most of that is because of the RTX 3070. These applications like Premiere Pro and Lightroom now utilize these graphics cards. And I tell you on that laptop, I have no hiccups when it comes to video creation whatsoever. You do not get any nice B-roll of this keyboard. Just kidding, you will. As you can see, it is a Bluetooth wireless Wi-Fi keyboard. Uh, I really hate having to deal with wires. Wires are a huge pain. First of all, it's ugly. Things get complicated. And once you have to take things apart, it just, it takes longer. Anything that I can get wireless, I'm going to have wireless. Okay, so this one's a big one for me. The perfect mouse. Does the perfect mouse exist? A mouse is so, so important as far as like ergonomics go, right? You want to have something that sits comfortable on your hand that's not going to give you any sort of wrist pain, but you also want something that will help you with productivity. So this is the Logitech MX Master 3. What's really neat is that you are able to assign certain buttons to do certain actions. For example, one of these buttons right here, I actually have that set in Photoshop to be my undo button. This scroll wheel, you can also set that to be a shortcut. So in Photoshop, it actually affects the size of my brush. And in Premiere Pro, it actually scrolls through my timeline. Now, when it comes to creative work, obviously we're gonna be spending a lot of time sitting down in an office space, editing, and it's not gonna be for like 30 minutes or an hour. It's gonna be for multiple hours at time. So being comfortable is something that is really important, not just for me, but also should be important for you uh, because you don't want to be the person that has like back issues or you wake up being you know uh, aching the next day trust me i've had a lot of chairs I've, and they were all crappy have you ever had one of those like racing chairs yeah they look cool but they're not very practical and they're not very comfortable either now this is the leap of faith right here okay spend anywhere from four to five hundred dollars minimum on a chair you will not regret it and what i highly recommend is the chair that i have which is the ergo chair i believe that's the name it's going to be right here and of course it'll all be in the description down below trust me it will make a huge impact in your life. Now, something I don't see a lot of like photographers or designers talk about is monitors. A monitor is very, very crucial to how your work is going to be reflected on a screen or even on print. Now, the monitor that I use is the LG Ergo. And the reason that I purchased this monitor is because it already comes with a stand. But the main reason why I purchased this monitor is simply because it has a 99% of the RGB spectrum, which is really, really good for creating online content. So I haven't had any issues either when it comes to print and when it comes to editing, what I see on my monitor is whatever I see on my phone. So it's really, really crucial to get a good monitor. And that's pretty much all I got for the video. If you did enjoy, just make sure to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, you know, feel free to subscribe. If you subscribe, uh, I will consider giving you a free puppy. Obviously not, but uh, who, who wouldn't want a free puppy, right?